you know, a parent is a disciple, according to God's plan. God would always come down and talk to Adam about his children, the way of getting closer to God, maintaining relationship between himself and God. How do we know? In Genesis chapter 4, the Bible says, in the process of time, the children went before God to give sacrifice unto God. That's when now we see the sacrifice of Isaac, uh, of Ka. That's when now we see the sacrifice of Jacob. That's when now we see the sacrifice of um, Cain not being accepted and the sacrifice of Abel being accepted. Why? Because Cain did not do what he was taught by his father and Abel did what he was taught by father. How do we know? Yes, that's very simple again. In the same chapter, God asks Cain, if you do well, will you not be accepted? God wouldn't ask that question if God knew that Cain knew totally nothing. So God asked that question because he knew that Cain knew something. So you have got to understand, people of God, parents, that it is important to know that you are a disciple of your children. And Adam did not stop there after Abel was killed. He did not stop there. He did not sit down and mourn, and, you know, mourn, you know, and grief and so forth. But he went on again when he got the, his third son, God said. He went on teaching again, discipling said. And when he discipled said, when Set was grown up, the Bible says, according to Genesis chapter 4, verse 25, and the people began to call upon the name of the Lord. That's a powerful statement. And the people began to call upon the name of the Lord. There was no crusade. There was no revival. There was no God channel. There was no internet radio. There was no Bible. But they were just being taught the way of the Lord. The way of the Lord. And they were being taught to do righteous. Genesis chapter 18 verse 19, God says to Abraham, For I have chosen him that he may teach his children in his household the way of the Lord and to do righteousness. So, parents, you are the disciples. And your first disciples are your children. Teach them the way of the Lord. Not only the way of the Lord. And let them live a life of righteousness. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye.